Hey, Travis with T-Customs Productions, T-Customs.com. Today's quick tutorial video is gonna be on how to change or replace the stock metronome sounds in Ableton Live. I'm gonna be demonstrating this tutorial in Ableton Live 9 on a Windows 7 platform. Now don't worry, if you're using an older version of Live or you're on a different operating system altogether, I'm gonna link in the description a detailed article on the official Ableton website that steps you through how to do this on any version of Live or any system. Now, why might you want to change the metronome sound? Personally, for me, I'm not a big fan of the digital sounding metronomes that Ableton and other DAWs provide, and I want something a little more natural sounding. Now, for demonstration purposes in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to replace the stock metronome sounds with the MPC click metronome. Now, if you have other preferences on metronomes you want to use and you don't like that particular sound, that's fine. You can do a quick Google search. You can find a lot of really great metronomes, so definitely use your preference on what type of sounds you want to replace the stock sounds with I'm gonna be providing you with two downloads a download to the metronome for the MPC and also an alternative natural sounding metronome that I've used for a number of years so check both download links in the description and you can follow right along with this tutorial so as you probably already know this is what the stock metronome sounds like in live and I just don't really like that digital sounding metronome. The first thing to keep in mind when you're replacing the metronome is you're actually replacing two wave sounds. You're replacing a metronome up and a metronome down. So every metronome is gonna have a pair of sounds. You'll notice that if you download the sounds in the description, in the MPC metronome folder, you're gonna have a metronome MPC and a metronome up MPC. So now that we have our new sounds that we're ready to replace the stock sounds with, we wanna identify that directory where those sounds live. On Windows, we're gonna to go to the local C disk what we're gonna be looking for on the C drive is the program data folder. One thing to mention right off the top is this is actually a hidden folder by default. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to unhide this. And it's very easy to do. All we have to do is click organize in the top left hand corner and explore. We wanna hit folder and search options. We then wanna click view. And within view, you're gonna see this folder right here under files and folders, it says hidden files and folders. And by default, this radio button will probably be selected. It says don't show hidden files, folders, or drives. We just wanna change this to show hidden files, folders, and drives. We wanna apply, hit okay. And now you should see this hidden folder available and you can access it. So now we wanna get into the program data. I'll also make sure to include this full path in the description. So if you're having problems following along, you can check that out, double click. I'm going to click on Ableton, Live 9 Suite, Resources, Miscellaneous or MISC, Metronome, and then within Metronome we're going to have a samples folder. And now you're going to see two WAV files. You're going to see a metronome.wave, a metronome.up.wave. And as you may already assume, these are the two files that we're going to be replacing with our new metronome sounds. Now, one thing we need to keep in mind is Ableton is actually looking for these specific file names. So the first thing that we want to do before we copy over our new files is we just want to rename these. And you could delete them or you could replace them, but if for any reason you wanted to actually restore back to the original sounds, you can just come back in here later and change the name. So to keep from deleting our old sounds, I'm just going to rename this. I'm going to put an underscore back BAK, you can put backup or something like that, but we just want to change the name basically of both of these files. And it's saying try again because I've got Ableton Live open. And so all we need to do is close out live so those files are not being accessed. Now we can hit try again and that file name should change to underscore back. And we want to do the same thing with metronome up. And now what we want to do is we want to copy over our new metronome sounds. So these are named metronome underscore MPC and metronome up underscore MPC. I'm just going to copy these over first. I'm going to select both of these copy and just copy these over to or paste these over to this folder. And then once they're over here, I'm now going to name these to the original file names. I'm just going to delete that underscore MP3. So we've got metronome dot wave and we've got metronome up dot wave here. We've now replaced the stock Ableton sounds and if at any time you want to resort back again you can just change the file name. So if we relaunch Ableton Live we'll notice that we now have the MPC style metronome. So if I hit play 
And that's pretty much it, guys. Feel free to experiment with this. There's a lot of great metronome sounds out on the web. Feel free to explore. I'm going to provide you again with the two download links in the description. If you have any other questions, please let me know. For more tutorials on Ableton Live, please check out the blog. Subscribe to the channel for more beat making tips, tutorials. Also, feel free to browse the website for more free stuff. Got some great sound kits and drum kits you can use in your production. If you did enjoy this video, please make sure to like and subscribe. I will catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.